Hello, you amazing warriors of light. So excited to be able to share this powerful practice with you today. Go ahead and find your mat. Focusing on your breath. Bring one hand to your heart and the other to your belly. Feel the expansion of your breath, your inhale and your exhale, connecting to your heartbeat, your belly, your mat, this precious space in this moment. This practice is about you, about your power and ability to create and be a creator. Focusing on that next inhale, taking those arms up, little Tadasana lift, and start to add a side body stretch here, rounding forward, and then opening up to the next side. Just connecting to the spine. Taking the next breath up, and as you exhale, letting those arms open wide, cactus arms. On that inhale, reaching, expanding, and then letting that chest open on the exhale. Finding this beautiful space of movement and connection to breath. Start to make your way to tabletop. Inhale to cow, exhale, tuck and round to cat. Start to create some opposition from bottoms of the hands to the knees, pushing and lifting, mobilizing through the hips and the pelvis and the spine. Working the chest open to cow, and then tucking, thinking about creating this lax string between chin and tailbone as we round up into cat. We're gonna add a variation here. Walk those hands a little bit slightly further out. Let the chest start to work its way forward and then exhale, let those hips drop into those heels. So as we reach forward, we wanna make sure the core is really supported here and the shoulder blades are drawing back. So we're starting to check into the mobilization of the shoulders as well as continuing to open and connect to that spine. Just seeing sign forward and back. Second option here is to now lift to high plank and work from high plank to downward facing dog. As the fingers reach forward, the heels draw back and really start to engage that midline, that imaginary Sharpie line. Think about being a magnet of energy really engaging every portion of our body here. Looking forward on the next breath, inhale, tippy toe those feet forward and exhale, find Uttasana, forward fold. Inhale, half lift, connect to that core and exhale again, chest to thighs fold. Root to rise as we inhale, Tadasana lift, exhale, salute this practice, Anjali Mudra. Inhale again, lift. Exhale, open wide cactus arms, letting that chest open and expand. And exhale, we draw those shoulder blades together and think about creating this beautiful supportive shelf so that we really get this anterior opening through the body. Continuing to flow with that breath. Inhale again, lift, exhale, hinging from those hips, slight bend in those knees, Uttasana, fold. Inhale, half lift, exhale, Walk those feet out, finding high plank. Take that breath forward to the tippy toes. Exhale, Chaturanga Dandasana. Inhale, rise, keeping those shoulder blades onto that back. Exhale, push and lift and finding downward facing dog. Inhale, looking forward. Exhale, we're gonna creepy crawl those feet halfway to the mat. Draw the hips down, the heels down. Find that length in those hamstrings and then finish the walk out. Inhale. Find half lift, exhale, fold, chest to thighs. Inhale, rise, Tadasana. And exhale, Anjali Mudra, heart center. Take that next breath up, adding on, exhale, cactus arms, finding that beautiful extension through the front of the body, and exhale, swan dive, fold, Uttasana. Inhale, half lift, option now, exhale, walk, hopper jump those feet out, high plank, Take that breath forward as we exhale then through Chaturanga Dandasana. Option now, full upward facing dog, thighs lift and exhale. Downward facing dog, start to hollow out that abdomen here. Inhale, right heel rises, three-legged dog, exhale, 
right knee, right tricep. Flowing dog pull throughs here. So we're gonna go to center on our second time through. Inhale, lift. Exhale, tricep. Knee to opposite tricep. Inhale, rise, three-legged dog. Exhale again, right knee to right tricep. Option is to kickstand here and then press back through to our three-legged dog before we take that next breath through. Plant the foot and find warrior two. True north, that front knee works to the top of the mat. Inhale, reach and exhale, reverse warrior. Finding our vinyasa flow here as we come back to center, warrior two, exhale, right angle pose. Option is to find that extension. And then just flow through here, remembering that our inhale, we connect at warrior two. Exhale is either reverse or right angle pose. So our emphasis here is to feel the strength of our foundation, but flow freely with the mobilization through the chest, shoulders, and spine. One more time here, finding that reverse warrior. Inhale, back to warrior two, exhale. Windmill forward, back foot spins, and bringing both hands to the inside of that front foot, find forearms to the floor. We're just rocking forward and back here. And I want you to think about foundationally pushing up through the bottoms of those feet and creating this deeper extension from front knee to back heel. Inhale, slowly start to work those hands up and slowly windmill front foot to join that back foot, wide forward fold. So our option here is to just work these forward folds, intensifying that stretch through the inner thighs and hips. If headstands are part of your practice, we can play with this beautiful movement and finding inversion, an inversion here. So be a creator connect to that space and experiment with these different variations with the legs. Drawing that belly in and up, gently dropping those feet slowly to the mat. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, working those hands back towards the top of our mat, finding that runner stretch. Front foot joins the back foot, high plank. And exhale through, Chaturanga Dandasana. Taking that pause, upward facing dog. Chest lifts and opens, exhale downward facing dog. Taking that breath, really feeling those shifts and changes in our mental and physical body here. Inhale, left heel rises, dog pull through. We find that same transitional space. So from same tricep to center, knee to opposite tricep, inhale, finding three-legged dog, and exhale, left knee, left tricep option, kickstand, and then powering back through, find our three-legged dog, plant the foot in between the hands and that next breath, and rise, warrior two. So our second side, slight tuck, we wanna level out those hips here, finding reverse warrior, inhale back to warrior two, and exhale, right angle options. So if shoulder mobility is kind of bugging us, then just keep that extended arm at the hip. Limit or decrease okay, that leverage, and that's okay. Experiment with pressing through those feet, finding that deeper extension through the side bodies, finding that opening through those hips, and just again, be present. Remember, this practice is about you. Windmilling, finding that right angle pose and now bringing both hands to the mat and we transition forearms to the floor working both elbows down to that mat left tricep connects to that left thigh and just gently rocking back and forth we want the pro reception those pain receptors to start to decrease here so that rocking motion that rhythm our body loves so we start to walk those hands back up, hinging, windmilling both feet to join wide forward fold and exhale. Inhale, half lift. And again, exhale, variations here to experiment with. Repeat, I am a creator. I have the power to create what it is that I am striving for in my life. 
as we work these headstands, we're making a shift in taking those tiny little bit of leaps into the unknown. It is such a beautiful, beautiful place. If we're not there yet, it's okay. Experiment with the forward folds and working our way back down to our mat. Inhale, find that half lift, working our way back to the top of our mat and front foot joins the back foot. Exhale, downward facing dog. Slowly hammock, pedal those feet, hammocking those hips and working down to hero's pose. Beautiful part about doing yoga outside <laughs> is having the beautiful opportunity to have nature be a part of our practice. Take a couple breaths, rolling through those shoulders and inhale, Tadasana lift. Find that cactus arm again. And again, make the observation, the shifts, the transitions, the feelings that are taking place as our practice progresses. Finding that tabletop variation again, working through a variation of cow and cat, shifting the weight forward and back. Full engagement of the breath, remembering that the breath is this conduit that creates non-resistance. Finding downward facing dog, shifting that weight forward and back. Again, to high plank, downward facing dog. Inhale, looking forward. Take that breath, walk, hopper, jump the feet. Exhale, fold, Utasana. Inhale, half lift and exhale, fold. Taking that breath all the way to standing. I am beautiful. Exhale, salute and believe that beauty and power within us. Inhale, taking that breath up, Tadasana lift, exhale, hinge and fold, Utasana. So we're starting to work through a balance sequence. So inhale, half lift, we're gonna step that right foot back and we're gonna press the bottom of that foot across the body, variation of three point pose. And then inhale, tuck and round, exhale, push and lift. So we're just being playful with, with connecting to the hips and the pelvis. So we take that next breath open, exhale, half moon pose. Oppositionally pushing through the bottom of the right foot, extending and lifting through the crown of the head. We're stacking those hips, getting this beautiful extension through the front of the body and the hips. Let that right foot cross behind the left and fold, Pavrita Uttasana, twisted forward fold. Take a couple breaths here. We're working to the outside of those hips, loving, this body. Inhale, extending our left foot, three point pose and push and lift again, finding that tuck and rounding extension, working through and inhale, open, half moon pose. So we wanna draw the shoulder blades together and again, really trying to open up those hips as we up create opposition through the crown of the head and the bottom of the foot. Take that foot, step it in front, and again, finding twisted forward fold on our opposite side. So we're working through the out of that IT band, the outside of that leg. Find forward fold, chest to thighs, and inhale, half lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, rise, Tadasana lift. And exhale, Anjali Mudra, heart center. Inhale, Tadasana. Exhale, cactus drop back. Inhale, rise. Tadasana lift, exhale, hinge and fold, Uttasana. Inhale, find that half lift. Exhale, step the left foot back, finding runner's lunge, and inhale, rise, high crescent lunge. 
windmill, stepping forward, standing staff, and then finding that power option, stepping back. So again, we're really working our adaptability here. As we are creators, it's understanding, coming to this realization that things aren't always going to work out the way we thought they were supposed to look, but there is something always more ultimately beautiful and inspired on the other side. Working that high crescent lunge again. Inhale, stepping forward, standing stuff. Got a little bit of boat legs there. Taking that next breath up. Surrendering those arms to the heavens. And exhale, bringing left tricep to right knee. Twisted runner's lunge. So we want to create this opposition here from tricep to thigh and pressing palms to palms together. Inhale, rise back up, high crescent lunge, a little wobbly there, and exhale, finding that breath, windmill forward, front foot, slowly roots, and we spin open with that back heel to find our horizon lunge. So we wanna think about creating this diagonal line from shoulder, to the outer portion of that back leg. Inhale, push and lift, spinning back. Front foot joins the back foot, downward facing dog. Take a couple deep breaths here, looking forward. Exhale, walk, hop, or jump the feet to the hands and Uttasana, fold. Inhale, finding that half lift, flat back. Exhale, step the right foot back and we rise, high crescent lunge. So opposing that strength of those legs. Inhale, stepping forward to that standing staff. And really think about being able to stabilize. Option is to even close those eyes if we feel like we have that stability here. If we need to touch that front foot to the mat before we then rise to standing staff, that's a beautiful option here. Taking that next breath up, exhale. We're now gonna take that right arm to left thigh, finding twisted lunge. So remember, opposition from palm to palm. We wanna expand open through the chest, drawing back with those shoulder blades and really supporting that beautiful cleansing movement that twists offer. Inhale, back to high crescent lunge. Exhale, windmilling forward. Spinning that back heel, finding horizon lunge on our opposite side. Just loving the body here, making no comparisons, knowing that it truly is the thief of joy in our lives. Inhale, push and lift, spinning that back leg, front foot joins the back foot and exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, looking forward to high plank, exhale, rocking back and forth through those plank downward dog variations here. Connecting to the strength of our spine, the strength of our core, the support of our shoulders. Exhale through Chaturanga Dandasana. Inhale, rise, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Shoulders draw up and away from those ears here. And inhale, looking forward. Exhale, start to work donkey kick is an option here. You can hop forward or walk forward to that Uttasana fold, about three donkey kicks, and then find our fold once again. So we're just working again the strength of our shoulders and our upper body here. Inhale, rise, Tadasana lift. Exhale, onto the mudra, heart center. Taking that head side to side, connecting to the upper portion of our spine. Breath up. Exhale. Sitting those hips back. Utkatasana, chair pose. So we're incorporating that cactus arms again. Inhale, push and rise. And exhale, hinge and fold. Interlace the fingers behind. Drawing those thumbs away from the body, let the head hang heavy. Again, just really working through that shoulder, shoulder girdle here. 
nod the head yes and no, releasing the hands down to the body, inhale, half lift, exhale, walk, hopper, jump those feet back, high plank, and once again, flowing through here, through those plank rolls, option is to take those knees down to the mat, just like we started through the beginning of our practice. Inhale forward, exhale, Chaturanga Dandasana. And inhale, upward facing dog options. Exhale, downward facing dog. Take that moment to pause, to regroup, to feel the balance work that takes place here in this pose. Inhale, looking forward. Start to work those donkey kicks again. We're just creating some muscle memory as we practice getting that lift through that lower half of the body. Step forward, find forward fold. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, taking that breath up all the way to standing. And exhale, I am enough. I am a creator. Stepping that left foot wide, exhale, deepen, sun goddess. Feeling the strength and the support of our legs here, just a little bit of a pulse. Every time we inhale, we push and lift, exhale, dropping into that deep squat. Letting the shoulders drop down and away from those ears, also feeling the support and the strength of our upper body. Planting those hands, pushing up through those hips. Once again, finding that wide forward fold. Variation here is to just support from those forearms and start to work the weight of that body up to those tippy toes. We might stay there. Otherwise, we're going to start to think about kickstanding up through and again, finding our headstand inversion here. Planting those feet. Inhale, rise, taking your time, and then windmilling back to the top of your mat. Runner's lunge. Playing with that lunge here. Again, just really connecting to your creative liberties. We're all creating. It's just whether or not we are tapping into that energy that we can create what we really desire. Stepping forward, finding forward fold. Inhale, rise. Standing staff. As that left knee draws into the chest, let that chest open and find that extension and traction through the spine. Eyes gaze forward. Transitioning here, hand to toe pose. So we can keep the knee bent and just connect the hand to the front of the shin, or we start to work that right arm behind, pointer finger connects to the big toe, and finding this beautiful variation of a standing balance. A little bit different than tree pose, a little bit more challenging, but really, really great for working hamstrings as well as balance. Taking the breath up, Tadasana lift. Exhale, stepping the right foot back, find Sun Goddess. Again, we're gonna pressing through, pulsing here, and just find that beautiful conduit of breath. As the breath flows, things are able to move through us, we're able to process and allow those emotions to not get stuck, but to flow freely. As we drop into that sun goddess, plant those hands. Last opportunity here to work through our progressions of headstands. You might be transitioning from a forward fold to just starting to feel the strength of that upper body as we find a partially inversion pose. As 
we plant those feet. Slowly start to transition back to that runner stretch. Stepping forward with that right foot, taking our time as we transition into standing staff. So learn from me. Check into those compensations. I've had an injury on that left hamstring here. So as we transition to hand to toe pose, really let that heart chakra come forward. Sometimes we wanna protect, we wanna slightly round through those shoulders. So really check into, take that lower uh, variation, okay, with the knee bent as needed. Planting with that right foot, inhale, Tadasana lift, exhale, Anjali Mudra, heart center, honoring. Taking that next breath up, saluting to the sun, exhale, swan dive, hinge and fold. Inhale, half lift, flowing through once again, our vinyasa or salutation here, exhale through Chaturanga Dandasana, Finding that breath as we pull forward and up and exhale, downward facing dog. Hammock and pedal those feet. Gently taking that movement down to our mat, sitting those hips back, finding child's pose. So we're gonna take those hands and you're gonna place the fingertips now towards the center of the body. Stretching through those forearms and wrists, we're gonna just gently rock back and forth in this theme of this rocking movement. is really empowering when we're creating shifts or wanting to facilitate progression. So as we work through like headstands and now we're gonna to transition to another balance pose, only if you'd like to. We're creating a space that's really, really empowering. Taking the tops of the hands, pressing into that mat. Just really, again, we want to prep the forearms, the wrists, as we transition here. Palms together, go ahead and let those elbows lift. And then again, pushing the palms out wide and then dropping those fingertips, just kind of rounding back and forth, rotating connecting those wrists and forearms are an area where most people don't necessarily spend a lot of time in self-care take the time here to really get all those feels rolling through the shoulders and feeling those shifts and connection to our breath so we've gone through a really really powerful sequence here connect to deeper inhales and exhales. So we're gonna transition into peacock pose. So the first time here, I'm gonna show you um, the full, full asana here. So we're coming back to that forearm stretch. We're gonna find high plank, dropping down into those elbows. So basically half chaturanga, and I'm gonna start to elevate one leg at a time. And again, maybe just practicing here, that leg raise. Slowly, you're gonna think about engaging those inner thigh muscles that support the core. As you can see, I'm starting to jump. jump. There's just a little bit of this, again, need to take that leap. To not be afraid that you're gonna fall flat on your face, but to take that little bit of leap and then allow that body to really just go into cruise control. Trust yourself. This is a process. So the second time through, I'm going to show you a variation that is great to start with when you're building strength. So you can see I'm in a low plank. And then as I drop into my forearms, I'm tucking those elbows up into my rib cage, looking forward with my eyes. And then again, just creating muscular memory. Taking that for a few breaths and then coming out. Shifting your weight back as those hips connect to those heels. Finding child's pose. 
honoring, celebrating this practice, this place where you've stepped into the unknown, where you've come to the edge of your comfort zone. The power to create is a place where we embrace being uncomfortable in a safe and beautiful way. As you connect hand to heart once again, beginning your final meditation. Letting the hands rest at the thighs. Drawing that full breath in and out. Bringing new life, connection, and letting go, honoring the past as we let go. Knowing that the person that we were when we started this practice There's a place of divine purpose. That person got you this far. But as you have shedded, let go, and released, you come to a place of rebirth. The world needs you to be who you were meant to be. Can you envision a beautiful friend that you love and adore and cherish? Are you being that person? to yourself. As you feel, connect to the shifts and the little ahas and wiggles that are allowing you to align closer to the authentic version of yourself. Give gratitude for this creative space. Give gratitude for this practice and find a remembrance to want to come back to this place, knowing that it's a tool for stress, anxiety, self-love and care. is a place to let go of fears, to embrace the little leaps that we take in our lives.
bringing those hands to heart center. I salute you. I honor you. I see your divine power. If you're in a place where the fog might be thick, lean on this knowledge that you are powerful. Namaste.